Archie is now attending preschool in the U.S. And an adorable moment with his mother Megan has now been revealed in a new interview. In an insightful article for magazine The Cut, journalist Alison P. Davis wrote, Somehow Archie knows his mother is at the gate of his preschool before the teacher even throws it open to set him free. He's so excited to see her, repeating Mama, Mama, Mama in his little voice, as he runs toward her that he leaves his lunchbox behind on the ground. She scoops him up in a big hug so full of genuine emotion that both close their eyes. The journalist also provided some detail about the car journey she shared with Megan and Archie when returning home after the youngster's day at preschool. She said it is revealed Archie had a good day at school via an update letter from his teacher. He did and is ready for full days. They also attempt to find out if he ate his sandwich at lunch and the mystery of the mid-morning shirt change before Archie begins engaging in conversation. The journalist wrote, the car ride back to their house is very busy, dictated by the whims and conversational patterns of a toddler. Archie, munching on a quesadilla, wants to roll the window down himself, but not until we get to a specific huge hedge he mysteriously favors. We assess if he had a good day at school via an update letter from his teacher, he did and is ready for full days, and try to find out if he ate his sandwich at lunch, he did not. We solve the question of the mid-morning shirt change. They played in the water table. Why are you afraid of heights like an airplane? Archie asks, and that leads to a conversation about the importance of being brave. The journalist reveals that if Archie forgets to say please or thank you, Megan would remind the youngster of the manners that make the man. When they stop at traffic lights, Megan takes a brand new black backpack from the boot of the vehicle they are traveling in and hands it to a member of her security to give to a homeless man on the corner. The point of this is to teach Archie that people live in houses of all sizes. Alison P. Davis adds, they made kits to pass out with water and peanut butter crackers and granola bars. I ate one. Archie contributes. When they arrive at the house, Archie rushes out of the car and throws himself around the legs of his father Prince Harry, who is ending a phone call. The journalist adds, Lilibet, unsmiling with watchful bright blue eyes, is brought out by her nanny. She is small and also ginger, and when there is a small person in the room not smiling, it is a reflex to do anything to entertain them. Harry starts dancing to his own beatboxing, and Megan bends down and joins in and then I find myself doing it too, until she gives a lopsided smile and we all realize it's a bit strange to be bonding in this way. Thank <laughs> you.